Welcome to our video with the Christmas window displays from 2022. Now, some you may have seen already, don't worry, we've got loads of brand new ones for you, including starting off with this one over at Harvey Nichols. Now, Harvey Nichols doesn't actually get much of a look in when it comes to Christmas decorations. We've already covered here in our video, having a quick look at their very small Christmas decorations department and Christmas gifts. But when you go around the outside of the store here in Knightsbridge, wow, have they gone for the bling. So if you want a glitter ball or you're missing a glitter ball, it could well be, as you'll see in all the windows, Harvey Nicks has managed to get hold of your glitter ball from somewhere and they've put it in their window. Uh, Rumour has it they will let you have it back after Christmas. Um, also, so another theme seems to be people or mannequins laying in the shop windows, or alternatively trying to escape. And as you can see, Harvey Nicks has not just gone for the bling in the window, they've gone for the posts as well. And as you can see, look, she's trying to escape. She's another mannequin trying to get away from the window. What is it? Don't they like working here or something? Now, Harvey Nichols is one of those shops until this year I didn't really have much to do with, uh, mainly because lots of people requested I go there and cover it, so I have. But as you can see, look at the Christmas decorations they put around the entrance. And also, not only they got the decorations around the entrance, but when you turn up at Harvey Nichols, you've got someone on the door as well to greet you and open the door. That's very nice, isn't it? Very civilised in London. Now, Similar to Harrods, because it's on Knightsbridge, it's absolutely mad past the front window, so apologies for all the people walking past. There you go, you've got another mannequin trying to escape there, all dressed up, ready to go out. And then in this window, it's almost like the ladies look like they're dressed to go out, and the men look like they're dressed up to go out and go to a football match or something else like that. Now these are the windows down the side street, and you've got yet more glitter balls. Yes, more glitz and glamour here. Whilst Harvey Nichols have gone for their gold and silver theme throughout all of their windows, one thing that I do like that they've done on the outside of the windows is they've done big stars, which sort of light up there, you can see part of that, which make it look really, really effective. Lovely, eh? So if you're going to Harrods, Harvey Nichols is just down the road, so it's worth taking a trip just to come and see all the glitz and gold that's in the windows. So for our next set of shop windows, we're at Selfridges on Oxford Street. We're also on Duke Street as well, which is where the windows start. Now this year, Selfridges have gone for a food theme throughout all of their windows under their brand tag, Seasons Feastings. Now, initially I thought this was from some horror film. Then I realized it's a giant pomegranate with a silver spoon in it and their pomegranate seeds on the silver foil. Thankfully, because I wonder what Selfridges were doing. Either my imaginations run wild or I've watched too many horror films. Now here you've got flans, you've got cakes and you've also got profiteroles, but they seem to think at Selfridges it's a good idea to store your shoes. Yeah, I'm not quite sure of the wisdom of that one, but anyway, certainly looks different. Personally, when I'm eating profiteroles and they say we'd like chocolate sauce on it, I say it's definite, but no sandals, please. I'm guessing the link must be shoe pastry, but anyway. Right, we move on to the next window. Now the next window is Grandma's Gold Standard Gravy. And what you've got here, you've got lots and lots of gravy and lots and lots of different bowls, but lots of gold things as well. There you go, I'll just leave you to have a good look at that, because some of them are rather beautiful actually. We go from gravy in this window to chocolate in this one. This is chocolate trays and pyjamas for days. Yeah, I'm not quite sure about the title of this window, but anyway, yeah, what a whacking great pair of pyjamas. And let's face it, eat all those chocolates, you're gonna certainly need some big pyjamas. And we move from chocolates to our next food, which is cheese. And this window is called a game-changing cheese board. Now, what's really interesting is if you look very closely on the uh, table that you've got there, uh, they are very, very slowly turning uh, the chess pieces, but also all the chess pieces are meant to be made out of cheese or look like they're made out of cheese. Can you imagine having cheese in your window for that long? Oh, imagine coming back after Christmas day, the smell. What I'm also really, really pleased to see is that people have been really careless with their wine and you've got wine stains, etc., around the cheese board. Very good. Right, let's move on to what everyone loves, Brassel Sprouts a la carte. 
They're certainly going for the seasonal food, and as you can see, a big bag of Brussels sprouts fallen off the back, which I don't think anyone would be too displeased with. Right, now it's the main event this window is, and there you go, you've got your turkey. So in this window, not only have you got the giant turkey, but you've got all the silverware that goes with it as well. See so how yeah, plugging that one. If it's red and Christmas related, it must be cranberry. Be that cranberry sauce or cranberry jelly. So you've got all your red stuff there. Now apparently all I want for Christmas is a panettone. Funnily enough, that's not on my Christmas list at all, but that's what they've got in this window. And that's a rather big looking panettone. Now in this one, you've got a plate for Santa. So you've got a Christmas house all set up there. And then look at that, a jar of cocoa and carrots. I think if I'd left something non-alcoholic out for Santa, I don't think it ever visited me. Christmas dinner isn't Christmas dinner without the Christmas pud, and there we go, we've got a glitter ball. And actually it looks really effective, doesn't it? With the holly leaves on it and the berries on the top. So there we go, in this one, you've got your Christmas pud. This window is called the Christmas pudding and countless cocktails. Hence, that's why you've got all the glasses around. Right, from a glitter ball Christmas pudding to a big glitter ball sitting in the middle of a fridge. Uh, yeah, I think that's there for decoration, either that or it symbolises another Christmas pudding. But I like this, what you've got on the table here is you've got turning turkey sandwiches. Yep, it appears to be leftover time. From the colds of a fridge to the heat of an oven. Yes, you've got the oven element there, and then you've got your toasty roasties, all wrapped up in their Christmas hats. Interestingly, keeping it food related still, it's all the washing up afterwards in the next window, before we then hit our final window, which is, of course, if you're talking about Christmas, keep your eyes on the pies. It is mince pies, of course. So this year's Christmas windows here at Selfridges are all inspired by different parts of Christmas food. Now we came down to Selfridges quite early and covered off their Christmas department. If you've not seen that video, I'll put a link to it up in the top right hand corner. But funnily enough, they had food in there as well. So you can hang food sorts of things off your Christmas tree as well. So we're at Selfridges on Oxford Street, but not far away is Bond Street and New Bond Street. Now down New Bond Street, we've covered this in a previous video, but you've got a couple of windows we're gonna show you, which were a couple of our favorites from there. The first one is Louis Vuitton, who have gone in partnership this year with Lego. Not only have they got Lego in the windows, as you can see here, uh, the background is all made out of Lego, as is the case that you can see here, but also they've got Lego stars all around the outside of the building as well. Now, we're not covering this because we're Lego fans. I just think the colouring goes really, really well. But the big question that we asked was, what are they going to do with all the Lego after? So we might have to go and see when they're going to clear out their windows, because I've got a funny feeling they may be giving away buckets of the stuff. Oh, and by the way, that isn't just the display here in Bond Street. All over the world, people have been messaging to say this is the Louis Vuitton standard decoration for Christmas all over the world. And interestingly enough, in this window, it's not the Lego that takes pride of place. When I've seen people standing outside, they're all looking at this white handbag. The second and final place that we wanted to show you on this street was here, the windows at Tiffany. And they've got different sorts of things here, all star related. So you've got all of these handmade baubles in the first window. And by the way, if you fancy seeing our videos on the decorations in new and old Bond Street, I've put a link up at the top right hand corner now of our first video. But then what happened was they put up more decorations a little bit later. So we came back and did a second video. So guess what? I'll put a link for that one up in the top right hand corner now for you. This second window is all birds, but if you look, it actually provides you with a silhouette of a star. And the third window is actually the star from within that silhouette. Now that silhouette is on the front of the Tiffany building. And we went back and they've actually lit it up. So we're gonna show you that later in this video as well. So don't worry, we've got more Tiffany to come. And the final window was this one from Andy Warhol. What I love about this video is we are darting around London. So we're gonna go from the really, really nice shops over in Old Bond Street to 
the Churchill Pub here on Kensington Church Road, which is up by Notting Hill Gate Tube Station. And this has got to be one of the most decorated buildings in London. Just look at this. Not only have you got loads and loads of Christmas trees, but just look at all of those fairy lights and all the different decorations that are on here as well. The Churchill Arms pub is often a pub that is featured in different photos of London because whilst they have this during Christmas, during summer they have hanging baskets hanging absolutely everywhere so it's just a sea of colour with all the different flowers and we'll catch that for you next year. But if you're worried about your electricity bill, just wonder what the landlord will be paying for all of these lights hanging around outside. Wow! This place is also really funny because you can always tell when you're getting close to it because there are just so many people hanging around outside taking photos or having family selfies and the number of photos that I took that evening when I was up there with families just wanting to catch their photo in front of all of these lights is absolutely incredible. Also, it's one of these places, the more you look at it, the more different decorations that you actually find when you're actually looking. But also, just beware, if you're coming down here and thinking you're going to come down not just for a drink, but a bit of pub food, it is a Thai restaurant. So just be aware of that. And you can look that up by just Googling the Churchill Arms pub at Notting Hill Gate, and there'll be more information there. From a very lit up pub in Notting Hill Gate, let's go to something a little bit more understated over in Belgravia. Now, Joanna Wood is an interior design over in Belgravia, and this is the shop front. And wow, have they filled it with everything Christmassy this year. And let's face it, if someone's gonna do a Christmas shop design perfectly, it's gonna have to be someone like this, cause you're advertising your work for the future. Anyway, we're over in Belgravia and it's rather lovely. Right, let's carry on in the really nice parts of London and let's go to Harrods. Now Harrods put out their Christmas decorations in the windows in just before mid-November. And this year they've gone for a whole Christian Dior collection. So everything is based on Christian Dior, but they've done it with a gingerbread theme to give it that sort of Christmas feel. So here you're looking at lots of different pancakes. In this video, we're just gonna show you a selection of the windows. But if you wanna see the full video, I've put a link to that up in the top right-hand corner. And in this window attached to the balloons, you've got not just nail varnish, but you've also got lipstick as well. I was corrected when I originally showed the video. Really hope you're enjoying our video and enjoying our 19 different storefronts that we've seen over Christmas, which we wanted to bring you together. Now, if you are, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up. That'll help us spread this YouTube video around more to more people so that they can love London as well. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. In this window, you can really see what I mean by the gingerbread theme, which has got a common theme going through most of the windows. And in quite a few of the windows, they've got different automations happening. Once again, check out that video from before. I dread to think how long it took the designers to put these windows together, especially when you look at all of the small details within that star as well, which is quite incredible. And our last window we're gonna show you at Harrods is this one with all of the polar bears. And if you look, the polar bear on the right is actually moving up and down. From polar bears at Harrods to dinosaurs and reindeer at Hamleys. We're keeping the age theme. And this is the front window of Hamleys. Now, if you want seasonal joy, then there is no better place to go than Hamleys, one of the world's biggest toy stores. So if you look closely here with the green nose, you've got a dinosaur, you've got a T-Rex with antlers. Yeah, don't ask me, they've just done it. Um, and you've also got right in front a reindeer uh, with a nose which isn't switched on, also with antlers. But if you look closely actually on them, they've all got reindeer on them. Now I'm guessing because of the movement of both the dinosaur and the reindeer, these little individual plastic reindeers had to be glued to their shelves. I wonder what lucky so-and-so got that job this year. Now, what I was really surprised about is Hamley's on Regent Street, how empty it was inside. Now, outside, it was absolutely packed with so many people looking at this window, which is quite understandable. 
So whilst this is their main window, the next window along by the front door is this rather beautiful Christmas tree. And once again, they put shelving around it, but this time they've got lots of different animals dinosaurs as well yes you've got your dinosaur plastic ones there and also you've got right at the top there you've got your unicorns Hamleys is just one of those great places to go in London just before Christmas because everyone that's working in there is so happy and they've even got people dancing at the door and we're going to show you that in a second I did manage to get some video of some people entertaining others at the front window now interestingly enough whilst you've got happiness they've got in the window here that um, Monopoly yes they're advertising Monopoly now if ever you had a family game for Christmas that brings more disharmony that's probably it so that's one game to be avoided over Christmas. And then on the other side, they're advertising Cluedo. Right, the big film of this year has got to be Avatar. So they've got a window which is all allocated to that. Going inside, you've got the big Christmas tree set up. Hey, I've got the elves. Now those elves are dancing and are there to have selfies taken with, which is brilliant. So I love the fact that the staff are dressed up and I just love the garlands they've got hanging around here as well. So it really does feel lovely and Christmassy. But that's about the extent of the Christmas decorations at Hamleys. And if you get to stand too close to these elves, they're going to drag you in and start dancing with you as well. So there you go. Give a wide berth. Right. So that's Hamleys and their Christmas decorations and also their Christmas windows. And as you can see, look, anyone can go up and have a selfie with them as well. Brilliant. Let's hit Old Bond Street and a five minute walk from Hamleys and let's go back to Tiffany. Now, when we've shown this before, they had all the birds up there and the star silhouettes, but what they didn't have on were the bright lights of Tiffany, the beautiful sort of greeny color, and also the birds lit up on there as well. So we wanted to bring that to you. But also what looks really lovely, not only the birds within the central part lit up, you've also got birds dotted around the front of the building as well. If you keep walking down Old Bond Street, you hit Piccadilly. And on Piccadilly, you've got Fordham and Mason. And every year they have the advent calendar outside the front. So you can tell what date I actually filmed it because the lights go on as you get to the date. Yeah, it was the 8th of December. It doesn't matter how many times you see the outside display here when you go and see it in person, it still makes you go wow, even though they've had the same thing for the last few years. And also what's really good is you get to the first of the year, the next year, and they change the 2022 and it'll be changed to 2023. Now we're going to head back to Oxford Street and to John Lewis and let's have a look at their windows. But not only are we going to look at their windows, we're also going to have a look and see what the display that they've got on the front of the main building is because every year it's really impressive. Now this year, John Lewis have gone very much more down key and they've got this theme of these giant teddies. Here they're advertising all of their Christmas gifts and baubles which are up on the third floor. Now funnily enough we videoed that and it was probably one of the most popular Christmas videos we did for the range of Christmas decorations and John Lewis certainly have got it there. But it's really funny because their windows don't sort of match the different variety of Christmas decorations that they had. They've gone very very much down key. Also what's interesting is they've used these bears a lot, but the bears are neither in their adverts or in their Christmas decorations as well. Now we've shown you quite a few different decorations from different windows across London. Still got loads more to come, including Liberty and another one down Bond Street, which we haven't shown you so far. So keep watching for that. But what's your favorite so far? Let us know in the comments down below. Be really interesting to see. For me, this is my favorite part of the John Lewis window, this gold bear, because if you're going to make a statement, you may as well do it in gold. In the previous years, the displays that they've had on the front of the John Lewis store using the LED lights has been absolutely fantastic. Now this year, they've got the display again, but they really have downplayed it. Now last year, it took about four minutes to get through the whole roll before it started again with the animations. This year, it's just over a minute and you literally go from a blanket of lights into a Christmas tree, into other Christmas trees, and then back again into the blanket of lights.
The reason we love showing you all the Christmas lights from London is because they bring people so much joy wherever they are and in whatever situation that people are in across the world. I think judging by their Christmas marketing, that's the adverts on the telly, also their windows and also the LED display, I think John Lewis have been really, really mindful of that. But also they've got a role that they can play to really help and cheer people up with some great displays on the front of their buildings. Oh well, we'll see what they do in 2023. The one thing I do like about the lights this year that they've done is that they've put bears on the front of the store. So when it gets to doing the Christmas tree, which you'll see in just one second, it actually looks like the bears are climbing up the Christmas tree. Mayfair's your place if you've got a reindeer this year and you're thinking of parking it outside a shop. Welcome to Hedonism Wines. Now every single year they put a fantastic display on in Mayfair and this year they've gone for reindeers and lots and lots of reindeers all lit up out the front of their off license. Absolutely loving the scarf on that one. And if you pop into the off license for a drink you might come out and see double the amount of reindeer. Right, let's pop around the corner into Mount Street from the off license and here you find Mount Street printers and look what they've made with the red card in their window and doesn't this look impressive, the Christmas Express, wow. Now if you're in Mayfair and you want to look young, radiant and beautiful then why not pop over the road from the printers and you can then go to Dr Barbara Sturm. Before you pop into this Mayfair shop to get your Mayfair face cream, why not stand outside and have a look at this Christmas display? And what they've got to all sort out is everything is in the Alpines. Just look at these cable cars going across, which is absolutely beautiful. The lit up houses which go on and off. And also you've got some skis as well with face cream going up and down on the skis. This really is a lovely display, but be warned if you're coming here once the shop is closed, nothing moves and the lights don't go on and off so you'll miss out on an absolute treat. Our last Mayfair display over here on Mount Street has got to be here at Scott's. Now this is a seafood restaurant and it's a very exclusive one. And in fact, it's so exclusive that not only are there seats outside, but there's also seats inside as well. Because let's face it, if you're going to eat in Mayfair, you may as well eat outside in the cold because at least then when everyone passes by, they know you're eating in Mayfair. You see, it's got that sort of thing to it. For me, it's just another one of those great places where you can come and pose with the animals outside and get your selfie in front of a rather exclusive place to eat. We're back into New Bond Street and this is a shop front that didn't go up till really, really late. It's Van Cleef and Arpels, which is a jeweler's. Now also, it's on the opposite side to Cartier, which is why I think so many people will miss this. And actually, it's such a beautiful scene to bring to you with the sort of the, uh, the trees and also the pebbles, but also with the cat and the Arctic fox looking at the moon. Beautiful. Right from a lovely winter scene, let's go to something more traditional, as you'd expect over at Liberty. Now Liberty always looks beautiful any time of year with this sort of Tudor frontage, but with the Christmas trees up it looks amazing and this year they've gone really traditional as far as the window display goes. It's the 12 days of Christmas. So we're going down from 12 to 1 and here's the first window and it is 12 drummers drumming. So I can't see the 12 drummers, but I can certainly see the 12 drums. Along with loads of things that you can get at Liberty. Right, let's move into the next window. And in this one, it's 11 and 10. So in here, you've got 11 pipers piping and 10 lords are leaping. So there you go, you've got your crowns all jumping up and down. And then you've got the 11 musical instruments for the 11 pipers piping. Into the ninth day and you've got nine ladies dancing and they're all the ballet shoes around that shelf in the middle. Then we go to eight milk jugs with the scarves being poured out as the milk and that's really good for the eight maids are milking. And from eight we go to seven swans are swimming and you can just about make out the seven swans there if you look really closely, including the one right at the very top. If you've seen our recent Christmas trees in London video, you'll have seen the Liberty one, which hangs down inside, which all relates to the 12 days of Christmas. Right, onto the sixth day of Christmas and six geese are laying. So here, not only have you got the six geese, you've got the six eggs as well. But then if you look closely on the eggs, they've all got things on them like 
gold bracelets. Okay, we're on the home straight and it's five gold rings next. Then we go down to four and it's four calling handbags. Or is that four calling hens? Yeah, I think it's the hens actually. There's slightly more handbags in there. Now you can tell we're running out of window space because the next window you've got two and three in there together. And if you look closely, you can see the three French hens and the two turtle doves. Yep, there you go, they're up there on the right. And then into the biggest window of all, of course, and a partridge in a pear tree. And you can see the partridge hanging around there in the middle and lots and lots of pears which have fallen around. I must admit, well done Liberty, this is one of my favourite sets of windows, uh, along with Fortnum Mason, which we're going to bring you very shortly. Now Coach is a shop which is round the corner from Liberty, it's on Regent Street and almost next door to Hamley's, and we wanted to bring it because the animation of the toy soldiers really brings it to life and makes it feel extremely seasonal. Also, they've got lots of coloured lights going around the windows of the shops as well, so it really, really brings it to life. And there you go, do you like the reflection of the Regent Street lights hanging from Regent Street there in the window as well? Makes it all rather lovely and perfect. And to the windows of Fortnum and Mason. Now, not only have we got the windows that we've shown you before, but we've got an added little thing extra. Because as I said in the original video, every time you watch this, you see something else which is quite incredible. So this is a story of eight windows of Fortnum and Mason getting ready for Christmas, starting off with this one. And if you also notice, you've got a cat in each of them as well. So in the second one, they're putting up the wreath at the door, uh, and then a mouse joins them as well at the bottom of the pillar box, but you'll see that more as you go through. Then they're decorating the decorations, getting ready for Christmas with the baubles and they're all having a go at that and the cat's up in the tree on this one. Then the next one is getting ready to make the mince pies. And whilst we're just showing the highlights in this video, I've put the link to the video that we showed this in originally up in the top right hand corner so you don't miss out because the detail is incredible and we go a lot slower and show you through it. In this window, he's setting fire to the Christmas pudding, but what they don't actually notice is that over here on the left-hand side, the curtains are on fire. In this one, the Christmas dinner is ready, but everyone's trying to get at it before they actually sit down and have their proper Christmas meal. And in this window, he's putting the coins into the Christmas pudding. Now it's in this window, there is so much detail. And actually we found even more detail when we went back again. So I filmed a little extra here and it's even more details of the books up on the bookcase up top, which we're now just coming into view. And here you've got some extra books. You've got The Idiot's Guide to Christmas Crackers by Paul D. End. You've also got How to Get the One You Love by Miss L. Toe. And then one of my favorite ones, which is just hidden away at the top here, which is After the Christmas Season by Val Untine. Then in the final window, you've got all the Christmas wrapping, which is fantastic. So, which of these 19 windows that we've shown you and also the shop fronts as well was your favorite? Let us know in the comments down below. Which ones didn't make it for you? Do let us know, always really interesting to see in the comments. And we've given you a wide spread here. So some of them we have shown you before, but a lot of them we haven't. And we've picked them up as we've been going around London and filming. And it's really funny because some of them are really traditional and some of them are just completely different. And speaking of such things, if you fancy seeing the contrast between the two things again, you need to see our video on seven Christmas trees to see in London. And I'll put a link to that up in the top right hand corner for you.